Hey, it's MK, and I am back with Scrap Timber and 30 Days of Christie's Beautiful Life. Here is the sketch that we will be playing with today. And today's prompt for Scrap Timber is fussy cutting. So I thought this was absolutely perfect. I plan on using these swirly frames by Stampin' Up. I have a couple photos of me chopping off all of my hair. And I have, that was years ago, by the way, don't get scared. <laughs> I also have the More Than Words by Coco Vanilla. So I've already pre-cut one of the butterflies, but I do plan on cu fussy cutting another one and a couple more from this sheet as well. I have their stamp set, which I plan on using the little hearts. Oh my gosh, yes, I said hearts on a layout. Isn't that crazy? Yes, it is. Uh, I have no idea why I'm frozen right there, but <laughs> look, it's a stamp set. It's such a gorgeous stamp set too, by the way. I also have some flair, uh, also from, everything is from the Coco Vanilla line, by the way. Um, so I'm gonna stop saying Coco Vanilla, except when I get to all of those um, uh, vinyl, vinyl, no, um, vellum, oh, words. The vellum little hearts over there, they are all from the, um, some of them are from Coco, were more than words, um, some of them are from Close to My Heart, and the other ones are from Altenew. It was a washi sheet that I added to vellum to keep it, um, like, I don't know, opaqueness, maybe? Is that what it's called? Anyways, um, as well as, uh, you know, being able to cut them out. So, fussy cut there as well. I have some scraps that I plan on using for the backs, um, you know, my photo mats. And I also have a stencil to represent part of the sketch. So... I also picked out this background piece right here because of all of its circular elements that reminded me of all the circles that are represented in the sketch. However, I don't want all of these circles on the entire layout. I only want them in the two corners. So I'm going to paint a big old white strip going down in a diagonal to get rid of them. Yep. And actually, it doesn't get rid of them. It kind of makes them a little bit pastel-y. So what I'm doing now is I'm sorting through all of these vellum pieces. Now, I left this part in because of the fact that um, this is my process. When I have a pile of embellishments and things like that, I like to sort it out and see what I have first before just throwing it on a page. I don't know why this is so important for me to do, but it is a necessary step in my processing. Um, when I create clusters and things like that, having these all organized is just a part of the way that I am able to process what I have, if that makes sense. So anywho, once I am done trying to figure out what all I have, I go through while my paint is drying and pick out all of the things that I would want to use on the layout. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is going to make it on the layout, but I do choose everything that I want. And then of course I'm going to fussy cut out the butterflies because that is the prompt for today. So I wanted to do the fussy cutting to prove that I did actually fussy cut um, instead of just saying that I fussy cut and they were already cut out. So that, you know, I'm an honest person, you guys, and I'm trying to stay honest. <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know. Then I'm going to get my stamps all ready and set. Um, as soon as my layout is done drying, I want to be able to finish the backgrounds. Now, when I do circles, I'm sorry for having this off camera, but when I do a circle, especially a photopolymer circle, um, I, I put it on my desk first, so that way it remains in the shape it's supposed to be. It seems like if I try to take the circle from the carrier sheet onto the stamp or onto the block, then it's distorted and it's not quite a circle. But when I put it on my desk upside down, you know, the stamped image down and put my block onto it, it seems like I get a better circle image. Okay, just to let you know tips, tips, tips. Then I'm going to go through and check out all of these words. I knew that I was going to do so, but because this is a layout about me, I did not want it to seem like I was conceited. I didn't want so perfect. I didn't want so sweet. I didn't want anything like that. In fact, I wanted it to say something about being short. So I thought, hey, so short would work 
perfect. So that is going to be my title. In fact, um, about a week after I get it cut in this photo, I go and get it cut even more shorter. Um, all the way, I mean like shaved on my neck short, So, which I loved. I, I loved having that haircut, by the way, but um, grew it all out again. And now I'm kind of scared <laughs> to grow my hair out. All right. So at first I was going to pull out um, my chalk paste and try and get um, the stencil put down. But then I realized that it would have distorted my stamp images. So I am going to stamp real quick as soon as I'm done playing with my cell phone. Oh, come on, you guys. Really? That's just rude of me to do. I apologize. So I am going to stamp out a couple circles. That way it kind of sort of goes above like it's outside of the white area and I'm extending the little circles. Now I did expect the um, the smaller circle to be about the same size as the um, watercolor circles that are already in the pattern, but I think it ended up being a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I do do a little bit more than what is in the sketch because my photos are a little bit bigger, but I did trim down all of my photos to be a three by four and I already backed them with the darker blue. I pulled out both blues because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use, but once I painted my paper white, I knew instantly that I wanted the darker um, photo mat so that way it kind of stood out a little bit more than the pastel one. All right. So once my stamps are done, they kind of still look wet. And I think that's because it's a distress ink that I'm using. So I did take a heat gun to it just to make sure that it was not going to smudge or smear because that would just be sad. So I'm going to take this chalk paste. Now this is a Magnolia design chalk paste. So it is made for home decor um, and it is very chalky. And what I mean by that is that it's once it dries, it kind of flakes. It doesn't come apart. It doesn't fall off my layout. It doesn't do any of that kind of stuff, but it does kind of flake almost like glitter. So what I did was I basically just rub my hand very gently over to get rid of all the flakes after it dried. That's it. That's all. So I am going to turn my stencil um, here, there, and everywhere. Actually, I'm going to use all four sides of my stencil just so that way I get a different design throughout um, all of the areas where I would like the design to be. Okay. So I'm going to, I did the top first. Now I'm doing the bottom. I am using my magnets to help me hold the stencil down. So that way I don't have to, um, I don't have to get my fingers in the paint and accidentally, you know, just in case it's still a little bit sticky. I wasn't really sure. So this, this one here on the side, I actually put up on the paint instead of down in the circles. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side using the fourth side of my stencil. I absolutely love this stencil, you guys. And when I first opened up this paint, um, it's a chalk paint is what it is. It's, um, but it's very, very thick. It's meant to go through, um, those, it's not really a stencil. It's more like a screen of an image. And so it's very, very thick and very, very dimensional. So when I first pulled it out, because it's called a paint, I actually brought out my sponge to treat it like it was a paint. But then I realized that as soon as I opened it, it was more of a paste. And so I used my rubber spatula. All right, because I've got a lot of elements going on and a lot of lumps and bumps on this layout, I am using my, squ uh, my tear and tape to uh, secure my photos down and then I will use other tape in order to secure all of my embellishments down. I just wanted to make sure that things were going to get stuck. I am going to cut off these weird looking leaves from this little cluster right here. This one here is from the Altenew washi tape. Um, actually, all of the ones that I picked out are from the Altenew washi tape. When I looked at the, um, the more than words vellum flowers, they were a little bit too soft for me to want to use. The line just was not dark enough for me. Um, so I actually put all of those away and um, I'm just using the Alta new ones. Now I am making some of the ones that were really long a little shorter so that way I can use them in two places but also have a little variation in all of the leaves. So yes, yes I am. <laughs> Just deciding how I want my leaves to go and how I want my little clusters to go. When I set three of these flowers on all, um, you know, in three areas around my, around my two bottom photos, I felt like that was a bit too much. Like, um, I'm not really sure 
but it just felt wrong. And so basically, by the time that I had everything all glued down, I wasn't really sure if I liked it or not. But then the more I thought about it, the more it's like, well, I wanted my pictures to look like they were laying on the cluster of flowers. And these ones just happen to be poking through. And so that's why I went ahead and said, okay, all three of those do kind of sort of look okay. Because if the photos were laying down, then yes, that would be how it works. So I'm going to add my title on really, really quickly. Um, I at first put this, um, the, this, the word so on top of my dimensional flower, but then I decided to tuck it underneath so that way it laid flat on the layout and it didn't come off any way, shape, or form. Adding a little bit of... Um, tear and tape in the middle of my butterflies as well as uh, foam dots on the outside so that way it pops up my butterfly and gives it some dimension. I do enjoy doing that by the way is putting the body straight down on the layout and then pu um, putting pop dots or foam dots underneath my um, my wings so that way they always pop up or they're always puffed up I guess. Um, doing the exact same thing I apologize for being out of the camera. Yes, I am quite out of the camera. Now just trying to figure out where I wanted this butterfly to go. And then I realized that I forgot to glue a few things down. So I'm going to take a few minutes to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to put the butterfly going up. So that way the um, elements look like they're flowing from the title. Okay. And last little butterfly, I am trying to decide whether or not I need him because of the fact that he's black and white and the other two butterflies actually have color so I wasn't really sure but I decided that I do need three butterflies um, it's just kind of one of those things plus it helped with the design in that diagonal corner so it definitely helped with that little design adding my stamps <clears throat> because I actually forgot but I'm glad that I added them after because I was able to just put them where I needed them and not covered any of them up. So I do like that little element of um, the little stamps. Adding a few words at the bottom of two of my photos. It just says documented and then the other one, I can't remember what it says. Um, memorable or something? Yeah, something like that. So, because I've never done something like this before. I have never in a million years decided, hey, let's chop all my hair off. I've always had long hair. Um, I've always been able to, uh, you know, like do my hair in weird ways. And I've always gotten compliments about it. And then one year I just decided I'm going to shut, I'm going to cut it all off and then go back in two weeks and chop it off even more. Anyways, this is it. That's the layout. Thank you so much for watching. I did trim off that butterfly wing and the leaf that hung off the edge of the paper. Be sure to um, <laughs> check out everyone else that is playing along with the scrap timber or the 30 days of sketches or all both. Like today, I played with both of the um, prompts as well. And I will check you guys all later. <laughs> Bye.